New evidence from the crime scene in day four of the Johan Gillette double murder trial. Thanks for joining us tonight. Good evening. I'm Matt Templeman. And I'm Renee McCullough. Today, the prosecution and defense questioned witnesses on a number of different photos from the day of the murder, including photos of the defendant. KEZI 9 News reporter Sarah Hurwitz joins us live in Eugene with our top story tonight at 6 o'clock. Sarah? The prosecution spent much of the afternoon reviewing photos of the crime scene, which included pictures of the bedroom, as well as the loaded gun, which was found on James Gillette, the victim. Now, prosecution also asked Lane County Sheriff's deputies about where the bodies were found in relationship to a diagram. They also questioned lead detective Aaron Hoberg earlier in the day, focusing on photos taken of Johan the day of the murders. In those photos, Johan has cuts on his head, which Johan claimed in a video interview were from shaving. His left hand had visible bruising along with a sore on the inside of his left thumb that appeared to be fresh skin from a blister. And while there were spots of bleach that were found on Johan's shirt, they didn't find any on his father's on his father, James Gillette. Did you see any bleach stains on Jim Gillette's shirt? I don't recall seeing. Do you see did you see any bleach stains on Jim Gillette's pants? I don't recall seeing any bleach on. Do you remember any the smell of bleach on any of those articles? I do not. All right, well, Detective Randall Fenley also presented phone records from James Gillette's tenant, Monty Smith. They show that Smith called James Gillette's cell phone and house phone many times from 2 in the afternoon that day up until just before 7 that night when neighbors discovered Anne and James. The prosecution also called upon a number of uh, sheriff's deputies who presented the clothes that James Gillette and Anne McLucas were wearing that day, which were obtained from the crime scene and later from the hospital. Live in Eugene, Sarah Hurwitz, KEZI 9 News.